Hey class, welcome back. So let's actually create the uh, user page. So when we click right now on a user handle, it just takes us to slash user slash that user handle and there's nothing. So let's actually create this page. All right, let's go to pages and let's create here a user.js lowercase. It doesn't really matter. I've, I've got questions on this, why you use components and pages. It's just a, a convention, you know, there's multiple conventions on how to do things. Just pick yours and stick with it. All right, let's go to app and actually, let me close the um, terminal. And let's set up a route here. So here I'm gonna import it first. So import user from, so same level back pages slash user. And let me put a space between those. And here, let's put a route. So route exact path equals, and this will be slash users slash colon handle. Uh, handle, not handle. Sorry for the typos, guys. So component equals user. Now, uh, before we create this, I wanna create the action. So let's go to data actions. And we're going to create export const. I'm going to call it get user data, but don't confuse it with the other get user data from the user actions. And this will take a user handle. And it will go through dispatch. And here first we dispatch a loading type. So dispatch type loading data. And here we say axios the get uh, backticks slash user singular. That's how we set up our backend route. Don't confuse the two. Um, so dollar sign curly braces user handle that we have passed to this uh, function. And here we do dot then, oops, dot then result. Uh, guys, if you remember, if you don't remember, I'll remind you. So this is the type of data we get from requesting from slash user slash handle. So we get a user object and a screams object. So what we want to do now is we want to set the screams to our state screams. So here we do uh, dispatch. The type will be set screams. And we're not going to set the... Um, so payload will be action. No, not action, sorry res.data.screams and we're not going to set the uh, user details to this because the user details is always the authenticated user um, here we say dot catch we don't need to stop loading because set errors that uh, set screams does that and here let's do catch errors and here we just dispatch the same type set screams with the payload of null. All right, so yeah, no no semicolon here, we save. Actually, we don't need the error here, we could just like keep it like that. We save here and let's actually create this uh, user component or page. So RCE tab, let's get rid of this export. And here we're gonna need prop types. Uh, let's import Axios and I'll show you why we need Axios in a second. Let's import the screen. Um, components slash screen slash screen um, Pascal case. And here let's import the grid from material UI. And we need the uh, we need connect. And we need this function that we just created. So get user data from um, Redux actions data actions. Uh, let's set up our prop types. So let's actually set up the map, um, the map state to props first. So const map state to props. Uh, 
it's gonna take the state and return the following so we just need the data so let's do data state data and here let's just do connect map state to props and we only need one action so we can put it in a um, object like this so get user data and we wrap the component in the parentheses and here let's say user dot prop types equals uh, the function get user data which is a prop types dot func dot is required and the data which is an object so prop types dot object dot is required so here let's um, when we load the component, so let's do component did mount. And here, when we load the component, we want to fetch the user, um, this user's uh, details. So let's get the handle from um, the URL. So we can do that by doing const handle. Let's put it in a variable. Let's do this dot props dot match, which holds details about the URL, the path name, base URL, all this stuff. The params, which are the parameters. And we have access to only one parameter, which is the handle, because that's how we set up the route, if you remember. So we have this one parameter handle. Now we get it, we put it in this variable. And we can do this dot props dot get user data and pass the handle. And we also now need to get the user details. So let's do Axios. I want to send another request and say got Axios slash users slash user rather singular the same request that we sent from our action uh, so here we pass the handle oops handle dot get uh, dot then rather and then here actually we need a uh, profile in the state so let's do state equals here we have a profile property uh, let's have it null for now and here when we get the result we do this dot set state we set the profile to res dot data dot user and if you get an error we just console log it now I know we can as well create another um, another entry in our data in the state and put this um, data in there but this is going to be a static profile it's not nothing is going to change about it so we don't need to store it in our global state so we can just fetch it and have it here inside the component so here in the render let's get the screams and the loading from the data so we destructure these from this dot props dot data and here where we return stuff we're gonna have something similar to the home page so can we actually copy it from the home page yeah let's copy this let's go back to user let's paste this here we already brought in a grid it's right here and here we say um, screams markup and here instead of profile I'm gonna put a a thing called static profile a component called static profile which we haven't created yeah, but we will in a moment and let's pass it a profile this dot state dot profile and here let's create the screen markup so const screen markup screams markup equals and of course let's check for loading if we are loading then show a paragraph saying loading data else here we do um what do we do actually we do another check here so let's do else if screams because there could we could go to a user's page and they could have no screams maybe they haven't posted any yet so if screams equals null then we set we uh, set the content to be a paragraph that says uh, no screams from this user now you can style this more um, it's up to you I'm just gonna leave it like this for now 
if we do have any screams, excuse, excuse me, we do screams dot map. And then for each scream, we're going to return a scream with the key scream dot scream ID similar to the home page. And we pass the scream scream. And we close the tag. So I think we're done here. Yeah, let's create the static profile. Let's import it from so right here, say import static profile from we we'll go back one level components slash profile slash static profile. Let's create this here. Static profile.js. Here let's import react and fragment from react and maybe let's copy some stuff from here or maybe from here prop types i wanted to get with styles let's actually just type it out for styles from uh, material ui slash core slash styles slash with styles we're going to need day.js from day.js and here let's do import link from material UI slash link. Here we need paper material UI slash core slash paper. Uh, should have copied this, but it's never too late. Control D typography, oh, typography. And let's get some icons. Here we say, MUI. Let's do, we need the calendar today. So similar to a uh, profile, so we can get those three icons from here. So calendar, a location and uh, the link icon. So these three paste them here and we're going to use styles similar as well to the use uh, profile styles. So let's copy these. Let's go back to static profile as paste. And here I'm going to remove the button because we're not going to have edit buttons because this is not our profile. This is a static profile. So we remove that button. So here we remove as well the uh, buttons and the, so the buttons from here and we remove this SVG button thing from here. Let's save. And here this um, this component is going to be a, uh, a functional component. So let's say static profile equals takes a props and let's uh, export it. So export default with styles styles and what is this static profile. Let's do our prop types. We have profile, which we've been passed down. So this will be pro prop types, the object that is required. And we have classes from with classes with styles rather prop types, the object that is required. All right, so here we need to destructure a couple of things. So let's say const classes and we have profile. So we need some stuff from there. So profile colon and we do curly braces and we get, what do we get? We get handle um, created at image URL and uh, the bio website and location. And this equals this dot props. Actually, just props because this is a functional component. Um, so here we do return. And here let's wrap everything in a paper. Actually, I think I could copy everything from profile and edit it. So let's go to profile, copy this whole paper tag. And let's come here. Let's paste it. So we're going to need. So we're going to need the image. We don't need the input and the button here. So let's delete these. 
Uh, we're gonna need the link the same way. Or did I call it MUI link? Okay, let's call it MUI link from link. And we need the link from React Router DOM actually. So let's do import link destructed, um, destructured from React Router DOM. So we need that, we need the link. We show the bio, the location, the website, and here we don't have the edit details or the button to log out. So I think this should work. So let's save everything and let's look if we have any errors. We don't. Hmm. Cool. Let's reload the entire thing and let's go to a profile. Cannot read property null, uh, handle of null. So the profile we got passed down is null, I think. Profile. Let's check on the user. This dot state dot. Oh, of course. Here we actually check if we have a profile because it could be loading and we don't have any profile. So let's cut this and let's do an expression here. Let's say this dot state dot profile and state equals null. So if it equals null, then let's return um, a paragraph saying loading profile dot dot dot. And we do here colon, so else we show, yeah, we show this. We paste the, what we had there. So let's save. Let's go back. Cool. And we get the profile of Jane Ost and her screams, which are just one. If we go back to home, we click on Johnny, we get his uh, profile and his scream and this is a normal scream so we can still interact with it the same way we do in the home so cool like we have now the user page and we can go to it and everything works just fine all right so in the next in the next video i think we're gonna uh, we're gonna take care of the url changing and we're gonna take care of like going visiting a specific uh, scream by using its url so look forward to that thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye